Hello, it's Andy here from SpectrumNoir.com with part two of the Snowy Landscapes video. Um, the main focus of today is going to be putting together um, the gift card wallet that we made last time using the Spectrum Aqua Snowy Landscapes. Um, so this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be putting together this quick, simple, easy gift card um, store card holder. Um, and this is the one we did with the snowman on. Um, while you're while we were off there, I also did one with the Christmas trees on, just to show you the difference. Um, and if you remember, we also did one last time in um, these pinky reddy colours, um, just to show that you, the versatility of the Spectrum Aquas. Um, so, um, because on my last video we filmed for these snowy landscapes, we filmed from the right hand side, um, there was a, a comment underneath um, which I'm very grateful for saying that you couldn't quite see because I'm right handed. So I'm just going to quickly show you again how to achieve this snowy hill effect using just the two aqua markers. Um, as you remember from last time, please go back and watch the whole video so you can hear me talk you through the whole landscape. Um, but we're going to be using a Doflex or you can make it out of acetate um, hill mask. Um, the importance of the Doflex or the acetate is because it's quite thick, so our, um, the pen butts up against it without going underneath it. Um, and I've sprayed um, stick and spray from Crafter's Companion on the back, um, and that makes it nice and tacky for us. So that means that we can stick our heel on wherever we feel like it, and then we've got we've got lots of movement um, to move it around in fact I can move it off camera so then if you remember we were only using two Spectrum Aquas and they were from the primary set and we'll, we'll be using the Aquamarine and the Navy um, so it's these two here on the back um, so it's just the one set you can do it with just the two pens um, so I'm going to start with the um, Aquamarine um, and with this lovely um, brush nib that the Spectrum, Spectrum Aquas have, we're literally just going to run a line along the hill mask, and you said about really butting that up against the hill, and then we're going to take a flat end paintbrush, um, and we're going to put that in the water, and then we're going to drag the colour, just gently drag the colour along and out. So we're using the colour of the aqua just to create that snow shadow um, and the importance between the two hills is, as I've said in, in the previous video, is just to leave that white gap because this is snow. So if you get some on there just go across with your water and take it off just to where you think it should be and then we go in with our um, the navy spectrum aqua with the brush tip end, not the fine point end. We, you're going to use the brush point end on this one. Um, and then we're going to look for where the light source coming in from this direction on mine. So we're going to create the little natural shaded areas with, a, with the navy. And the important with the navy is to have your piece of kitchen roll or paper towel so that we can take the navy back off if there's a little bit too much. So we're just going to drag that along, leaving the gaps where we want the lightest areas to be. And we're going to clean our brush so that we're now just using water to finish bringing that out. Now I know that looks a bit messy at the moment, but what will happen is as we start to work that with our, just water on our brush, you can see just how quickly that comes together and it is a landscape so there won't be any straight lines or you know perfect formations because snow doesn't fall in perfect formations um, although snowflakes are quite pretty so there we go and that then you get your paper towel and you just drop it on wherever you feel like it and obviously there is a much 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 more in-depth look on um, the previous video um, so please check back and then we just take our mask off, clean it up a bit and then we've got our snowy hill. Okay, if there are any bleed throughs just take your wet brush, clean wet brush 
and just push it back up towards the hill. But it really doesn't matter if you bring a bit forward because it just adds to those shadows. Um, for how I finish this scene, um, go back to the previous video um, and we'll get on with putting it together. So let me put the lids on my, my pens. Okay, and here's the two we were working on um, last time. So we've got the snowy scene here that's still got um, our masking fluid on and we've got the piece we're going to be using for our insert. Um, so I'm just going to take the masking fluid off. Um, and I didn't take it off because I, I did want to show you um, but it doesn't matter how long you leave this stuff on for. It doesn't seem to mark the watercolour card at all. So if you have to stop for any reason um, and then you know don't come back to it for a couple of days it really isn't going to harm your work one tiny little bit. And there we go, I think I've got it all off now. You see it hasn't marked. What it's given us is our snowstorm um, giving us some more um, atmosphere to the piece. Couldn't think of the word then. Um, right, so we're going to put that to one side and we're going to start with um, our base piece. I will put all of the measurements um, up on um, the website underneath this, um, so if you check back there. First of all we need a piece of black 300 GSM card, this one's Crafter's Companion because it's nice and matte, and it needs to be 9 and 5 eighths of an inch by 6 and a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to score this to make our main card. So we're going to make a wallet using this piece. We're going to put it onto the scoreboard so that the long edge is up at the top and we're going to score at four and five eighths and at five. Because what we're, what we're doing is we're creating a spine for our card. And with 300 GSM I like to turn it over and score again just so I can get a nice crisp fold um, because this is very very dense thick 300 GSM card so there we go and that's all we need to do I'm going to just get my bone, bone folder so we're now going to so we're going to fold it over on our score lines and again on the other one and that really is as hard as this gift card while it gets. You don't do it hard. So there we go. So what we've got is we've got a spine, a spine piece along so that we can start mounting up our artwork. So we're going to have, remember the um, from the previous video, these were um, A6 pieces of white watercolour card. Um, and we need one more piece, which is from Sheena's stamping card. Again, A6, and that's going to be our piece for people to write on. Um, so we've got our three pieces for one, two, three sides. Um, okay, so we're going to start on um, the, um, the front and work our way through. So we've got our our card, our, our piece of artwork, and what we need now is we need the mats. So we're going to use black card mats because I like the double matting onto the um, main wallet because it just looks so much more sophisticated. Um, and the, the black, you'll need three of them at four and three eighths of an inch and six inch. So you'll need three of those to mat each one of your pieces. So we're going to take our front seam and we're going to use the Collal multi-purpose glue which is a brilliant glue because it actually creates a layer underneath and doesn't let the watercolour card um, ripple and bubble underneath on it otherwise with some other glues the watercolour card can um, bend and warp Whereas this one, because it's all a wet glue but it's not actually wet, it's not water based um, in the same way, it actually holds this thick 
this card really nicely. So there we go. If I was going to be um, using a ribbon tie closure, um, like on this one, like on this one, then I would um, obviously put the ribbon on bef underneath this piece. But I'm actually going to be doing a slightly different closure on this one to show you the difference. Um, so I'm just going to map that now straight onto the front. So remember this piece was four and three eighths by six inches, which will map lovely onto our six and a quarter inch base coming down. Because you'll see from the measurements that I've left you a quarter of an inch, which is my sort of like preferred gap um, when I'm matting and layering. It gives me a nice small um, ledge between each of the layers. Right, there we go. And now you'll see why I do that double step. Um, it works brilliantly on white as well. Uh, so there we go. Right, that's the front piece on. So now we're going to use the Sheena's stamping card and do exactly the same. Mat it onto our black, which is four and three eighths by six inches. Um, I'll stick this one on first. That side. So my cutter leaves marks. So I anyway, need it's on my list, my ever-growing wish list that doesn't get any shorter to get a new one. So we're going to map that on to this piece and again leaving that using that quarter of an inch that we'd left to get a clean and symmetrical border all the way around and again we're going to put some glue on the back and then we're going to stick that onto the inside of our wallet nice and easy okay so now we have the front and we have the insides and now it's this one now this one's actually going to have a pocket on it because this is where our, our um, gift card's going to go so we've got we've got this piece which we don't want to waste so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick the black down first this is a, a, a third black mat of four and three eighths by six inches and I'm going to stick that down first which is a little bit hard to see in the light for the camera. That's it, got it down all by itself. Makes it a little bit challenging. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our cutter and we're going to cut our insert wash piece that we did. And we're going to cut this at one and seven eighths of an inch. Depends which end you want to do it, which end you particularly like. Um, I quite like that wash, wash bit just there, so I'm going to cut from this end. And we're just doing this so that we don't have to waste um, any of our artwork underneath the pocket. So we're going to take that piece off. So we've now got the same size, but it's now in two pieces. Okay, and see how quickly this is already coming together. And we're going to glue this the biggest of the two halves at the top section of the black mat we've just put down. So if you go to the edge of your black mat, leave the same border that we would have done if we were laying the whole piece down. But we're only going to lay it because it only cuts, so it's just the top piece that we're sticking down. So there we go, so we've left the same border before our black um, but we've just took off the bottom bit. Don't throw away, we're going to use that in a second. Just give this glue a second to grab. Um, right, now you need an off cut of black card. And um, again, it needs to be the four and three eighths of an inch wide by two inches down. So it's an off cut of the black and it's four and three three eighths the same as our black card underneath by two inches. Now what we're going to do with this one is we're going to use the Crafters Companion red um, double sided tape because we want something nice and strong but if you prefer to use a 
um, a, a wet glue that's, in, that's totally up to you. I use this because it is a pocket and we're going to have um, cards, the gift card going in and out and I want to make sure that it doesn't come off and this really is super sticky. So we're going to put the double sided tape down both sides, both sides and along the bottom. cut it off. I know you couldn't quite see that because I had to hold the tape. Um, so you'll see that we've got it down both both sides and then we've run it along the bottom. Okay, just burnish that down a little bit. Okay, and turn it back over. Now keeping the bottom at the bottom so we don't forget where we've stuck that. Now we can stick our the piece we cut off of our wash landscape. We can now Put some glue on the back of that and line that up on the front of our pocket. Now it's up to you at this point. What you could do with the pocket is you could um, use a use the circle punches to take a take a, um, a piece out, so you've got a nice pretty bit. Or you could um, use corner punches to punch the corners. That really is entirely up to you. However, you want to finish yours off um, and we'd love to see them if you want to um, put them up set put them up so that um, and send them to the Spectrum Noir Facebook page it'd be great to see your versions of the Spectrum Aqua landscapes just you just use two pens that's the challenge um, and tag me and we'll have a have a look it'd be great to see how you get on with this technique I've got the red stuff sticking all over me. Right, so we've got our sticky tape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line that up with the bottom of our matte piece. I don't know if you can see it coming down there. Right down to the bottom of the black matte that we laid down. It's a bit difficult to see using black, but I am a little bit addicted to black card at the moment. I like the contrast it gives, especially when you're using... Christmas scenes. Um, it's a really strong content, contrast. So we've now got, we've now created um, this pocket just here. I've got no nails, that's why I couldn't pick it up. So we've now got this really tough pocket um, just there that we can put our gift card into. Okay, so there's the base and it's starting to come together really well. Um, what we had in the first one um, was that I just created a little, little mat. Um, and that's quite easy to do. Just get a um, piece of off-cut black card, white card on the front. Um, you could even put pattern card on the back. Um, and then that would just sit inside your wallet like that. Okay, now we're going to look at decorations for it. And last time you'll note that I used um, the little snowman from the Christmas Classics um, collection from Desire, And that was Frosty. Um, and I've also used the holly from um, the Robin and Foliage set from the same range. Um, and the Christmas trees on the other example I showed you at the beginning, um, again, is this absolutely gorgeous Christmas tree from the Christmas Classics range, and that's the traditional Christmas tree. But I'm not going to do any of those this time. Just to keep it changed up, what I'm going to do is I've already pre-cut and embossed and from the same range, I'm going to use the Snow is Falling um, Snowflakes this time. So I've cut those in an off-cut of um, the land, this washy lands um, technique um, and in some silver pearlescent paper um, just so that I can start matting and layering those up. So if we go back to our insert page, um, that's right, I've knocked my scoreboard and it's just falling it fell on my foot um, if you go back to the insert page one thing you can do um, if you haven't chosen if you've chosen not to do the corners is to just grab off cuts of um, black card um, and you can see I keep mine all together um, and you can literally just make your own corner pieces by roughly cutting a square and as I did say earlier, I can't cut straight for toffee. And I'm going to use my long scissors 
and we're just going to cut straight across. Nice, simple, quick way of creating a top and bottom corner piece that doesn't cost more yet more money in um, buying corner punches or you know other dies. We're just using up our offcuts, and we've literally just made two mats to make it and I think it looks like an old-fashioned you know the blotting pads that you see on old-fashioned Victoriana type writing desks um, maybe on Downton Abbey or something similar and I think could doing the corners like this sort of takes it back to that old blotting paper on um, a desk jotter but I'm only going to do the two um, but it's entirely up to you but that was just a quick and simple and cheap effective way of using up your off cuts that I just wanted to show you um, so now we can layer on some of our snowflakes to create this scene so I want to leave a couple for the front um, I want those two for the front and I think I'll have two that have those ones just to make sure that I don't use all the good ones up on the inside I'm going to use the Colal Tacky Glue um, and because it grabs a little bit quicker and I'm actually just going to squirt it onto my mat just, so that to, just to make my life a bit easier. Um, but you could of course use the stick it, um, but I've got to say that I ran mine through before I thought about it. Still very new to using the stick it stuff and I tend to forget that I've got it. So you can stick these wherever you like, we're just decorating up now. Um, just making this so that we've got a nice nice little picture um, and I think I'm going to use a big one so we've got the big one over here a nice blob in the middle that one doesn't want to come out it's a new box with tacky glue doesn't seem to want to share so there we go there's something very strange about making these videos that you're standing there talking to yourself and I'd like to tell you that I don't do it all the time but I do there we go so we're going to use uh, one of the coloured ones uh, and I'm going to put that in the middle of that one so there you go so we've built up an inside just using just using the um, snowflakes. So we're going to go back to the front. Now I said to you we're going to do a different closure mechanism. So I've actually already got this ready um, and I've circle punched um, two um, black circles from just the waste card that, that I seem to collect. You could just cut squares um, and I've just got a little tiny off cut um, from the, and coloured it with the um, same markers that I used for the front um, and I've just laid that onto a tiny scrap of black card and I've got a quarter of an inch fold in that piece there and what we're going to do is we're going to open our card out and just so that you can see you don't have to open it open yours out we're going to stick it on the back so that we're only going to go up to that first fold so I'm going to use a strip of the double sided tape um, on the inside of this just to make sure that it's nice and strong um, because it's got to take you opening and closing the wallet so we've got that little tiny piece there and we're going to take the back off and we're going to stick that up to that fold line in the middle of the back. I've so I've only turned mine over like this so that you can see what I'm doing. So there you go. Um, and then the second one of your circle pieces was just to finish that off because I am a perfectionist, um, as my children will tell you, and I don't want to leave the end out like that because it looks unfinished. So I'm going to put a circle over it. You don't have to put the circle on the back if you're not quite as perfectionist as I am but 
I just wanted it to match really. Right, so it doesn't seem to be sticking, so it's sort of that karma that I've got going on for being a perfectionist that my old purpose didn't want to stick, so we're going to use the tacky glue and hope that sticks. Okay, there you go. Use the right glue in the first place. Right, so we're going to turn it back over and we're going to close it up. So we've now got this piece coming here. Um, and what I want you to do is to sort of curl this piece over and we're going to get ready to put our pieces on um, on the front and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, back again. So when we've got our um, piece that we just folded over and if you just put your finger on it and just sort of curl and roll that up a little bit just to make it easier because we're going to create a little fold with our second circle so what I'm going to do is because we're going to be putting things in and out um, of this I'm actually going to use the strong tape down either side of our circle and you really can't see while I'm sticking my big hand in your way um, see if there's a way I can do this so I don't get in your way there you go. So we just you've got to look at the thickness and make sure that you need enough of a gap between your two pieces of tape so that your slider will go in. And then we're going to take the back off and get stuck up with more of it. And there we go. And we're going to stick. We have to be really careful now not to make sure that we don't stick our our piece down. See, I want it there, so if we put that over the top, it's a clever way of being able to gauge where it's going to be and hold that like that and on the edge of there. And then hopefully, if I've done that right, yay! Little, little happy dance, happy dance, happy dance, that that worked. There we go. So that's all stuck down and now we can stick on the remainder of our uh, snowflakes from the inside and we can put these on however we like. The only thing that I the, the only one that I do want you to definitely do is obviously we've got the big black circle spot on the front which is our closure so we're going to start masking that off using some of the bigger snowflakes from the set. So I'll put one at the bottom and I'll put another one on top and then I'm gonna go for um actually I might I was gonna put that there but I'm not now. I'm going to put that up there and what else have I got? Yeah I think I'll do that. There's no right one. Just wherever you fancy putting them. So there we go, I've got the snowflakes going on and I'm going to do just the other snowflakes at the bottom because you're going to look at thirds. When you start looking at pieces of art, you're working in thirds. So you've got a third of a third going on. So we now need something in this bottom third um, because it is pleasing to our eye apparently. And if someone's took the time to do a study to prove that to me for photography, I'm sure it works on the front of my make so there we go I'm all sticky so we've got our fabulous snowflake design going on um, here and we've got our little closure that we've just created because our circles now hidden underneath with more of our snowflakes on the inside and we've got our pocket that we can put our, our gift card in and the back's all nicely hidden away behind our circle so there you go that's um, the finishing part two of our snowy landscape um, scene with the Spectrum Aqua pens. Um, go back and watch the first half of the video so that you can get the full effect of the landscape if you've come straight in on this one. And that's Sandy signing off for Spectrum Noir.com.